Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Trevor Asidali. Thank you guys so much for clicking on again if you're new to this channel. Please consider subscribing. Oh my OGs, you know what time it is? Your girl is out. Um, officially, I'll say my summer in Toronto has started. I'm going to be giving you guys the lowdown, but basically I have no plan today. And that's the amazing thing. I always said that I haven't come in, um, I think February 2023. I've been in the city, giving city girl vibes, but I've not really been in the city. So today I am a tourist. Everything I'm seeing for the first time. So I'm going to go and fangirl Trono. Half the time I'm complaining, but I also know that it will always be home to me, okay? Today we are heading downtown. I've called the Dasi, I think she's at work. Maybe when she's done with work, we'll meet. But I'm going to all the fave spots. I'm going to Google top 10 tourist destinations downtown and just walk around. Okane kasegu, onera wa star. Okane kasegu, watashi wa star. Okay, uh, Union Station. So yeah, I think I'm supposed to take the number one train heading to Osgood. That's from that area they said the Nathan Phillips is a walkable distance. I've been to Osgood a couple of times because um, I've done shifts at Google Canada and their office is close to the Osgood station. So yeah, it's not on familiar territory. Today I wheel myself into thinking I'm a tourist, so I'm just going to be in awe of every basic thing I pass every single day. I'll just be giving, oh my god, this is so nice. <laughs> Anyways, let's go. I'm getting out through this spot. Oh, to Queens! Now I just have to walk to um, the Nathan Phillips Square, but today is such a beautiful day. It really is a bit you know how your feet just takes you to a place where you've always wanted to come now i think google building should be around here because i see this face or head or whatever it's supposed to be a lot from google and it's just amazing to see it up front i love it it's actually inside this building and yeah that's the thing with coming to downtown. Most of all, most of the buildings are connected underground through the paths. Okay, yep. Here it is. Through this path, there's a tunnel. And it has lots of shops and all of that. So let me get my frap as usual. Then I'll go up top and regroup with you for my order. And like what I was saying, um, the buildings here are connected underground via the paths. And it helps them to be able to like especially when it's winter when it's winter you would love this part although it gets confusing for me because for some reason i believe that it would have been labeled better but like it's a large would i say how many kilometers radius between king osgood union is connected on the ground via the path so you don't need to go on and you can just be going on the ground and the good thing is it's not just a dark dingy place like there are shops there's pandora here there's starbucks here there's a whole supermarket here so you just buy things as you're going anyways um yep still waiting for my order i got the frap the large one <laughs> because i'll need all the strength as i head up get to Nathan Phillips Square. If you guys are fine, it's my day. My coffee now, um, frap, um, mocha cookie crumble frap, and I'm heading to the Nathan Phillips Square. Um, yep, for no reason whatsoever, just to see the Toronto sign. I've not seen that sign, and then I'll spend about 15 minutes there. Um, I'm still waiting for my video to upload, I don't know why it's taking time. Anyways, let's go. The last thing I wanted to point out is that Toronto has a very big food culture. Like if you're somebody that likes to eat, you like to try out new cuisines and all of that, you will enjoy staying here. Um, for me, I really don't like eating like that. And my palate is very specific. So in terms of the food tourism, I've been doing badly, badly. Square, that's the 
everywhere. I think there's that's a flag of Ukraine. They're having a fair, it's the Toronto Outdoor Arts Fair. I don't know if it's still on, but I may just go close. Since living in Canada, I've learned how to have fun without spending so much on my own. Because sometimes I really want to take some pictures, do some reels, but I'm alone. Like, there's only so much I can do and the angles I want to take and all of that. And I just go like, you know what, no need. Let me just, you know, go on, go about my day. It's not bad, but I, I think this is why I would get back to vlogging and try to be showing my day to day. It might not really be fantastically interesting. I don't know, guys, just let me know because I just find that that's the part where I said this summer I'm going to go out and do touristy things. I feel like since living in this city, the how would I put it? The excitement has died down. Every like everything is just like you know you become so much of a native you don't even enjoy the moment and then you're complaining for x or y or z so right now i'm not a native i'm a tourist a story way taking pictures from the top and i think i'll go let me go okay so this is the view from up here i've been able to get some people to take me pictures which is amazing So it got very sunny and I had to run down but my next stop is the Gotterdam building I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right I just know that it's a building that has green roof or green something and I like it I've never been there but as somebody that's an engineer that loves architecture I want to go see the building um, it's four bus stops away from here it's a 12 minute walk but I'm not doing that the sun is too hot anyways let's go at the Osgood hall premises this place is really nice um i'm not going in but i just needed to look at the grounds as usual there's a construction somewhere but yeah that's a screw yeah it's a lovely lovely park love the building somebody's already sitting there let me get to any of the boards to probably take a picture of whatever is written there Building tourist vibes, yo. This is actually good. The Osgood Hall. Directed 1829. Wow. I'm seeing today is one of the most fulfilling things I've ever done. Just going around and being in awe of the simple things. Women's Law Association of Ontario. Oh, the Osgood Hall, true. It's a law library. Uh, let me let me show you guys this one. Women's Law Association Ontario. That's their write up. You can pause and read. That's the hall. They actually have guided tours. Um, I didn't book any, but I'm just on the grounds. I don't know if there's anything at this back. Oh yeah, that's in French. Let's head back to um, the guts. Let's head back to that green building. <laughs> I'll get the name. Right, heading out. It's a funky way to make a gate, but good. <laughs> the funny thing is that on my way to the Gotharam building, I saw a beautiful sight and I'm like, you know what, boss, stop me. I want to go and take pictures there. Typical tourist behavior. So, yep, we are going there. Um, I'm at the TD Square. I don't know if that's it's done, but Jesus Christ, I have to reapply my sunscreen. What is this song? square area this is what i saw guys it is just beautiful i love it i love it and there's a waterfall there this is beautiful now i've always said that i look forward to just staying near water because of how relaxing it sounds Maybe because I'm a rivers girl, or maybe because as they say, we are water children. But it is super relaxing for me. And um, yeah, oh, I love this place. I'm just getting to see it. And then this is what's here.
got here at my first place. I literally just asked people to please take me pictures. I'm going to be putting those pictures up. And you will judge kind-hearted, nice strangers, just able to, you know, say, oh no, it's fine, I'll take you. And that's the stuff at the back. I'm going to be going to the other building. I just needed to sit down and catch my breath. And let me search. We go, we go. It's just 4 p.m. You guys will be enjoying this vlog. It's as random as, and then for wherever you are, I know that there are certain people that are in places where they go like, oh no, I don't know anybody. Take your phone, go into the city, you know. You get to a place, you see people taking pictures, you say, please, can you take me? And, and then you build your summer diary, because there's really little or nothing you can do about maybe being a play, in a place alone. Uh, would you allow time pass? Would you decide not to have fun? Because you have nobody to take you and then you're shy. I mean, the beauty about being alone means I'm not even shy. Because you really don't know me. <laughs> and I have like five minutes to spend in each place. Ten minutes is up. Movement time. Looks like I'm walking through the valley of the shadow. But it's just Canada. It's just the rental construction. At this point, some places are looking really nice. Other places are looking like this. Um, that's the beauty of it. Toronto is giving monkey no fine, but in Mama like I'm at this point, so I've decided to embrace the good, the bad, and the extremely confusing. All right. Oh, Jesus. What's that smell? Ew. This place looks like all those places that they used to hide bodies in in those days. Some fridges. So I've gotten to the building, just wanted to show you the back. This mirror here is so beautiful and so realistic. You think that it's a top that is falling off, but it's a painting. <laughs> it's actually a painting that encompasses, you see the spaces for the windows are actually windows. So this is really beautiful. And then there's a park here. So probably after taking pictures, it's called Bracy Park. After taking pictures, I'll come and sit um, at this park. Um, I remember when I was much younger, my mom took us to dubai and that particular trip she told us i'm not going to buy anything for you you're just going to escort me now what that did for me is it helped me to be able to enjoy a city without forms get to a city and enjoy it like truly look out for things to enjoy without worrying about you know i need money for shopping i need money for this and if you've ever been to dubai and you never carried money you will see that there are areas in dubai mall emirate mall and all the sites that you, you thought you would not be able to see, but you will see because you don't have the intention of buying. So you don't have the time to waste sitting in a shop going through several handbags. You experience like every single um, corner of the city and all you just need is transport. So all I needed was my Presto card and I'm just going around and enjoying the city. Today is actually very warm. I'm just wearing this shirt and just my normal vest that I wear underneath. I'm sweating, which I prefer to get in bonds. So today is not like the kind of heat that I will say, please don't come outside. Today is better, like moderate temperature. Like he's giving Nigeria, so this is better. Not their wicked Canadian song. That one, I don't know what who they offended to get that kind of crazy ass song. But yeah, we're here at the building. I'm going to give you so I'm leaving the building that's the Godram building and I'm heading over to St. Lawrence Market I just turned my head and I found St. Lawrence Market behind so I'm like you know beautiful this is also one of the places I wanted to check out and it's nice that it's within what just a few meters from each other so walking distance and one of the things I wanted to say, like when you, when you get to all these fun spots, just find them, the one that is taking other people's pictures. <laughs> like if you can find the person taking others' picture, you most likely have found somebody that can take good pictures or just the nicer person. Or if you can, the Asians, the Asians are always very good with pictures. And there's nothing wrong if they take your pictures, you don't like it wait for the next set like another person is going to come i i absolutely love the pictures that the other lady took of me like both of them were amazing 
I love the pictures they took of me from all the sites. Now I'm heading to St. Lawrence. Let me show you guys. Welcome to St. Lawrence Market. There's even a tour bus up ahead. to St. Lawrence Market, guys. I haven't had the need to come around here, but um, it's famous. Anyways, let's go inside and see what it offers. Market is it like a real farmer's market? Because that would be amazing. This is like for meat, and this is for fruits. Let me check this other side out. If I see any place that sells drinks or something, I'll probably get um, this place souvenirs. I don't have any dedicated Trono souvenir, I think I should get get one probably for my parents just get something that when they have it they can tell their friends oh yeah my kids are in Canada I don't know if this is oh this is going to be so small for Micah but yeah when he comes he can eat whatever he wants right, so the sun became very 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 intense and I have to get the visor out a little detour because I was going towards the distillery district and then I saw the church. There's one particular church. I think I need to go and check it out. So beautiful, beautiful park. You can come here and cheer. I think that's one of the beautiful things about um, summer period here. Abundance of parks that you can, you know, sit out. I think that's the church bell. I think that's the church bell right on cue this church is so magnificent i think it's the same i think it's the anglican church i don't know the name let me get closer so that i'll take a picture so what you need to know about the church saint james cathedral this is it i think it's anglican yeah all right guys so it's 5 15 and um, i'm about to go to the distillery district I've been there before. It's actually also a Trono like um, tourist point of interest. This streetcar is choked, but I have to go in. Let's go. So we're here at the famous distillery district. It is like it comes alive at night. I won't even lie. Lots and lots of patio spaces. Look at it. it comes alive at night. You can see like. They are waiting for a movie so outdoor movie this is the building wow i just needed to do this video uh, yeah i think there's a jazz band playing up in front let me see if i can get up close this area is featuring all the old buildings they're super tired even going to be a cocktail workshop you can go through this area to see other interesting um, installations but taking pictures there it's nice okay yeah there's a love um, well, this is a festival signage but there's a love um, installation here of be able to take pictures and put padlocks I don't know where I can probably find a place to get, even if it's coke, I need to stay hydrated. But it's not like it's bad, I will not faint, but I just, you know, want to stay safe. Anyways, yeah, because all I've had today is just that crap. So, yeah, let me head out. Amazing time here. I think I'll take it. Uh, yeah, let me beg somebody. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that, you haven't even done anything, do you love it? Oh, just you wait. Alright, guys, 
guys so i'm a bit tired and i decided to lounge here um to just enjoy uh, i don't know the procedure as to their film um bookings and the rest of them but i'm just going to take a break maybe like 10 5 10 minutes 5 10 minutes to chill um regroup in my thoughts but i need to get food food is the next thing today's tourism vibe was just amazing so this is kind of like summer in Toronto from my lens tomorrow is going to also be amazing I'll try to go to other places that I didn't go today and enjoy myself and take you guys along with me for those that are saying okay what I spend in a day in Toronto for me like I said I only spent was it eight bucks on my Starbucks and then my presto since most of the things I was doing was within the two hour radius was my first tap I think the four dollars or so but it's up the second time I pay another four dollars so maybe eight dollars on transport eight dollars on drink so if you're a heavy eater you can carry biscuits or snacks but for me this was just cool and I was able to enjoy everything so yeah um, we just finished listening to the um, pianist and it was just an amazing rendition yeah. about to start going because I think I've rested enough um, I need to start heading out I want to also catch the sunset at the beach and you know end my day today thank you for hanging out with me this is it basically alright All right, that's my cue to leave and um, it has been an amazing day I wouldn't lie I wish I started doing this earlier on but there's still time um, right now we are going to Niger Jalof. I'll plug my phone, grab a bite, grab a drink and head over to the harbour front for a restful evening before I go home. So, see, we will wait for our bus, bus 65 and then I came across the love sign. The beauty of everything I'm doing today is just this random running. There are times I see it online and I'm like, where is it? Where is it? But imagine being in the city and never having the opportunity to come to these places, to see these things and just watching people love the moment or just watching people get excited about it just shows the things that we um, overlook. Okay, so I'll try to get a picture. Six and we're here at Ninja Jollof. Want to come and get food, replenish. From here, I'll most likely be going to the beach to just rest. All right, let me use that one and step down. I'll plug the phone. When I finish, we go, we go. Alright guys, so I'm done from Niger Jalof. I'm about to head out. I'll be going to the Toronto Music Gardens. That's where I'm ending today. Because I just want to chill by the water. If there's going to be a music show, I'll just listen. Stay there. From there, I'll retire back um, home. I really, really love this week. Like today, um, I think after my birthday, I never wore it again. <laughs> so seeing it, like, I, I just say, you know what? Instead of have, like I have more than 15 weeks but I have like three or four that I put in rotation and it doesn't even make sense so I want to start wearing my wigs and I love it I love it what do you guys think suits me everybody has been giving compliments so yeah let's head out um I think the next one I'll be taking is um the street car so hold on let me check it all right so this intersection this Spadina intersection is one of the most confusing to be in because we have the street cars and the normal buses but it's actually understandable after a while you get it that's the center my bus is supposed to come here and from here i'm going to the Toronto music gardens that's basically my day so far so good okay, so i'm here at the harbor i'm um, close to the water i'm going to try to locate the musical gardens today has been so amazing i won't even like one thing with gary is that it just weighs you down and that's why I like to eat If I want to eat, I eat one solid meal. So that about was my solid meal. Oh, I remember this 509. Oh, we're going to the shift at NRK, the exhibition loop. 
Yeah, that's the um, street car we use, 509 street car. So, we always pass this side. That's one of the things that even helped me to remember this place. But it's nice, hope you guys are fine. Hope you enjoyed this video so far. Getting close to the garden and beautiful, beautiful sunset. Lots of people. Okay. Yeah, the Billy Bishop Airport is just closed, so planes will be landing. And wow, it is packed. I think there's actually a show because it is packed. Summer music in the garden. Okay. I do not know if I like people enough to be in this kind of congregation. Um, yeah, I think I should go as far away from this as possible. The funny thing about life is that I actually, in most cases, people would swear that Asi is an extrovert. But that is actually not true. <laughs> it's not true. I feel like this life is a life like... It's something I put on at a certain time of my life that I needed it. Um, I had my extrovert phase. There are lots of my classmates that just, that remember me as an introvert, like 100%. I don't um, talk much to people. I just mind my business. And let me just rest here. Goodness God, oh man. So, yeah, there are people that remember me as a very simple person. I don't talk so much unless I'm very, very comfortable with you. So most times in this kind of settings, you think that I'll be front and center. But then it's like I have my moments. There are moments where I can jump in the middle and um, all that. But then there are moments where I really do not feel like. So, yeah, I think I just listen to myself. Anyways... I'll just chill here by the water. Um, when I've had enough, I'll go home <laughs> and go and start editing. The wow, guys! So this is an amazing end to a fantastic day, guys. See my city, see my Toronto, <laughs> my Toronto. Monkey no fine boy, mama like him. That's just the definition of this place because it has been a fantastic ride. All kinds of emotions, many firsts. And many of them were done alone, which makes it even more special. So, yes, to buy. All right, guys, so it has gotten pretty late. Sun has set. I've been here kind of like decompressing. I think I should have been doing this often, coming to the Harbour Friends to just sit and chill. Um, I'm going to try to make this a summer staple because I'm a rivers girl, I need to be seeing water. Water brings tranquility, like it just kind of helps me to zone in and just you know, be level-headed. I'm going to be heading back home now, so I have to walk towards the place I'll get the Harbour Front streetcar, Harbour Front to Union, and then I'll take train, bus or whatever. And start heading home hope you guys are fine let's go all right so i'm back home and it's the end of today's vlog i'm going to try to relax all right guys so that concludes my tour of downtown toronto hope you enjoyed the vlog looking back at my stay in this beautiful city i know how far the word of god has taken me i always tell you guys guys pick over the city where you land it will help you it will help you stay and everything that prophecy had said i would never know a better yesterday it's just clear you can see like from pictures you will not even know when i came the other one was when i landed the first spring and this is like my most recent pictures and god has just been taking me from glory to glory i pray the same for you any of you that are looking to like move into Canada, let your testimony be from glory to glory. Thank you guys so much for watching. I remember your girl Asi Darling. Please check out my other videos. I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys. Why you see me dance, so I